Check it out on the home screen down here, no buttons whatsoever. Application draw, nothing whatsoever. Very clean. Yo, what up and welcome to the cupboard. We're gonna be taking a look at immersive mode on the Samsung Galaxy S9. So here we are stock standard with nothing installed, nothing changed. And you can see these navigation buttons down here stay completely permanent. They don't disappear when you're on the home screen or when you're in the application drawer, which is okay. It doesn't look the best in the world, but if you do go into an application, they can disappear and reappear if you swipe up but we want them to disappear from here as well. So head on over into the Play Store, download this free application called GMD Full Screen Immersive Mode, hit install, it is very quick indeed. And once it's downloaded, hit open, and it gives you a little message saying, keyboard may not work while navigation bar is hidden. Well, that's absolutely correct. So we're gonna go through some of the settings here. So GMD Immersive Mode is set and it's on up top here and we're gonna set it so everything disappears like so looks really cool notification bar disappears up top you've got the navigation buttons down here they disappear as well obviously the far left icon is when everything is appearing so we're gonna go into general first of all don't worry about the red bar across the bottom I'll explain what that is shortly so you've got show soft keys trigger in notification bar so once these keys are set to disappear you'll see this in the notifications area which is fine but you can get that to disappear if you untick that option so i'm going to leave invisible icon because that disappears otherwise uh, start on boot will do and lock uh, device in lock screen or di disable even in lock screen so we'll tick that and we'll come out of this now and this is a main setting screen where you can set up your triggers so we're going to go into trigger now so this is what we're going to actually uh, trigger those these soft keys to disappear. So we'll leave uh, show in navigation up there, show in full screen pro. Uh, I've got pro mode, but you don't necessarily need it to do this. So we're going to set the theme to solid just so I can show you what it's actually doing. But once we're done, we'll set it to invisible. That's when it'll look absolutely cool. So we'll leave it on solid for the time being. Color and transparency, we'll leave it on red just so that you can see what's going on. And the trigger mode, you can either set it so that when you touch down that area, those soft keys will come back or when you swipe. I'm used to swiping, so I'm gonna set swipe. And you've got auto hide delay is three seconds. Self-explanatory really, the amount of <laughs> delay time before those keys disappear. So we'll leave it at three seconds. You've got the trigger width to be 80% here. Now watch the red bar. This is the trigger width. How far do you want that trigger area to be? So if you only use one side of the screen, then you could set this to be that particular area. So trigger width is now 29 and you've got a trigger position to be 50. And obviously what this does is, whoops, it moves that area from one side of the air, so, uh, phone to the other. So if you only use one side of the phone, then you can use this so when you swipe up in that particular area, then those keys will come back. But I think it's more ergonomic to have a much wider trigger so it goes from one end of the screen to the other. And we'll set this to, to be around 50% so it's dead center. I think that's better because you've got the full width of the screen. The trigger sensitivity will leave to four because that's okay. Then what should happen is if we go back here, uh, you've got application pro settings here, uh, which I'll just show you what these are. If you go in here and it says per application settings on Android 5.0 require usage access that has to be granted manually. And what this is, is if you want those soft keys to disappear within a particular application, like if you're on a Kindle, for example, and you want more space to read, then you can go into the permissions here and uh, set this application in there, and then those will disappear. Very cool indeed if you want slightly more real estate on your screen. And that's about it. So we've got it set to, whoops, full immersive mode here. So once those are set and you can see we've got the red bar running across the bottom here. And if I go into, whoops, then that disappears. If I go into an application, those keys disappear anyway. 
but uh, if I set from the immersive immersive mode here you can see those soft keys disappear and they look absolutely awesome the phone looks a lot more cleaner with those without those keys being there which is pretty cool and notice how i'm going into the application drawer and they still disappear now if i hit the trigger point if i swipe up on the trigger point which is that red bar those keys come back which is very very cool indeed very ergonomic used to what we uh, are already used to with some applications like the camera and whatnot so that's really really cool and if you want those to permanently stay where those are you can either set the application from the notifications area or you can just set it sort kind of like a halfway house where I've set it here. But yeah, swipe up, those keys come back, the trigger delay after three, four seconds, if it hasn't been used, they drop back down again. Now for the red bar, the red bar doesn't look as cool, does it doesn't look very ergonomic. So we want that red color to disappear. So remember the invisible mode. So if we go into the application drawer, go into GMD immersive mode, then go to trigger, and theme is pro uh, sorry theme is solid if we change that to invisible and notice that bar disappears if I go back in again go to any of the other ones notice the color but if I change it to invisible boom jobs are good and you can see those keys disappear after three seconds of inactivity swipe up they come back and what more could you ask for? Absolutely awesome. That's immersive mode on the Samsung Galaxy S9. There we have it guys. Hope you found that helpful. If there's anything else you want me to do, do let me know in the comments section down below. Please like, subscribe, and if you're new, hit that little notification bell. We've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.